now that we're able to log in and log out, we can go back to the original motivation for why we had users log in and log out. And that is that we didn't want other people to be able to mess with our user. If we go to our, our edit, we let anyone be able to modify that user. We don't have any permissions checking that user for editing or for updating or even destroying for, for that matter. And that is a, a big mistake. So I'm going to work with you to write one test to check for uh, editing a user. And then I'm going to let you as your next assignment be able to do all the other tests that we need to do based on what we talk about in, in class in this episode here. So as always we're going to create a new set of tests and I'm gonna create a new file and I will call it um, authorization pages because these are going to be tests that we use to check if someone's authorized to, to do something or, or not. So uh, this is a new file. So again, we need to require our spec helper. And um, uh, these are our authorization pages. Whoops. And like I said, I am going to just do one thing. Uh, we are going to do what we've done for all of our other things. We're going to use Capybara. So our implicit subject is going to be the page that we visit. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a user using Factory Girl. And we're just going to do that not because we need that user, but because we want to make sure that we can't edit that user. So we're going to describe someone who's not been authenticated. So non-authenticated users are allowed to do uh, certain things, if I quote this properly. And we might have multiple um, controllers with different authorizations, so I'm just going to just do that right away here, say, you know, for the user's controller. We, we might have something for, for other controllers. Obviously not the login controller. And inside here, this is the edit action. So this is all just our boilerplate that, that we need to, to get uh, set up here. And what we want to uh, do is uh, that we want to, uh, whoops, we want to go ahead and try to visit, uh, this should be a before, excuse me. We want to visit the edit user path. We want to try to edit the path of that user. And this is the uh, part where we want the login and logout functionality to arrive. What we want to have happen is that we should have an alert. And uh, let's make this a warning because it, it, might, uh, it might be that that user just didn't log in and we have the person who's trying to edit themselves. Uh, but it might be someone who's trying to be malicious. So we don't know if it's an error that would be danger or if it's not an error. So that's why we're kind of going middle ground here with, with a, a, a warning. And then let's say that we should um, somehow tell them that they need to log in. All right, and so this is a very simple test right here that checks that if we try to edit that user path, that we should get a warning saying that you should log in. And um, then we, if, if we can pass this test, we know that we're only going to let people who are logged in as as that user work and, and people who aren't logged in will have the error. And so that's why this should be an error. Maybe we should um, make that very clear here. Describe authenticated users. And so for the user's controller, 
again. We're going to describe the edit action. And, and notice the difference we're going to have between here. Uh, on the before here, what we're going to do is we need to um, be able to, to log in. So what we're going to do is we're going to visit our login path. We're going to fill in on the username with our, our user's name. And we're going to fill in the, with the password with the user's password. And notice the only reason we have that password is because Factory Girl created it with a password. If we would have retrieved it from the database, remember the database doesn't store the password. So we're, we're taking advantage of, of Factory Girl here. Um, and then we're going to click our button that is the, the login. And then what we should do here, which is just like before, is that we can visit our edit user path. And, and so the difference here is we've, we've logged in as, as our user right here before we go ahead and edit the path. And the, the difference should be um, pretty stark there. Now here it um, should not have a warning alert. And it should have some sort of content about edit profile or something like that. All right. So you can see there's a, a difference for People who aren't authenticated, we need to tell them that they need to be authenticated. And for people who are authenticated, we let them proceed with, without any sort of warning. So let's go ahead and save that and do our double check by uh, running our tests and make sure that they're all failing in different ways because we haven't added the, this functionality. Uh, hopefully these should work because we already have our editing users ignoring whether they're authenticated or not, but these, these should fail. And there we go, we get our, our two failures. Uh, first one with this warning and uh, well this one has has the the wrong uh, edit profile test right here. So we can go ahead now and pass these tests. Once we pass these tests, then I will create a number of other tests for a bunch of different authorization purposes. And your assignment is to to pass the rest of them using the same type of process as I'll go through in the, the next episodes.